Be Quiet sent me this Dark Power 13 no compromise silence and performance power supply to check out. It's ATX 3.0 compliant, so it benefits from some of those new features that that standard brings along with it. Stuff like better reliability, um, improved efficiency, and of course that now infamous PCI Express 5.0 600 watt connector for the latest power hungry GPUs. This is the 850 watt model that I have here, but it's also available in 750 and 1000 watts. And every model in this new series is certified 80 plus titanium in terms of efficiency. So very high efficiency levels on all the models in this series. If you're not familiar with Be Quiet's product hierarchy, basically anything labeled dark is high end. So this Dark Power 13 series is a top tier product. It's aimed at overclockers, hardcore PC enthusiasts, and I don't know, I guess rich people that have a lot of money and just want the best of the best. Now I noticed the packaging here came with a manufacturer's seal. Not something that I'm used to seeing on a lot of PC parts these days, and I don't really know why. It makes it really easy to tell if I'm getting a new part or something that somebody already handled and returned back to the store. Maybe that's not a big deal for a lot of people. I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments if you think that's a big deal or not. But for me it is because it's happened to me before where I bought something online only to find out like it's not brand new when it gets to me. Somebody clearly used it, put it back in the package, sent it back, and now I'm getting it. And that kind of bothers me because if I'm paying for something that's supposed to be brand new, then it better be brand new. So having that little seal on there is a quick way to know that nobody's like messed around with whatever you, you're getting. And this being a high-end product, it's especially appreciated on here. So we've got the user's manual right here, not something I usually pay a lot of attention to with power supplies, but since we're dealing with that new 600 watt connector, and you've probably heard the stories about some adapters that shipped out with some early GPUs that needed that connector, they were actually melting. So, um, you know, <laughs> I'm probably gonna recommend that you take at least a little bit of a look at this to make sure you're setting everything up properly. If I flip to the back here, there's a little insert that talks specifically about how to set up that connector. So what it's really saying here is the tip of the connector to the first bend can't be less than 40 millimeters, and then you also can't bend it horizontally. If they went through the effort to put this little slip in there to specifically draw your attention to how you set up that connector, then it's clearly important, and I think it's good advice to follow that. You know, if you're buying a power supply in this class and you're pairing that up with a GPU that costs $1,500 or more, then it's, you know, pretty safe to say you want to get that set up properly so you don't run into any issues. The way they got this packaged up in here, we got the PSU under this foam padding. So we'll take that off, and oh, look at this. Be quiet, it's keeping things fresh. Nice. And then this box over here with the fancy shiny letters on it, that's got your cables in it. So the PSU looks a lot like the Dark Power 12 series. And that's a good thing, by the way. It's a minimalist and high-end look that basically looks awesome in any PC build. It just kind of fits right in and gives everything a nice premium feel. The fan in here is a custom tuned design based on Be Quiet's Silent Wings fan series, and it's 135 millimeters, which is a bit of a weird size. PC fans are usually 120 or 140 millimeters, but um, yeah, this one's custom all the way down to the dimensions. And it tops out at 1800 RPM. It sits inside a funnel shaped air inlet that's supposed to help improve air circulation through the unit. The sound level specs look great, with the output noise under 8 decibels up to 50% load, and then topping out under 20 decibels at 100%. So noise shouldn't be much of a concern with this series. The back of the unit's pretty standard as far as PSUs go. You've got your main power input, an on-off switch, and then a bunch of ventilation. Over on the business end, we have all the modular connections. And there's the big, juicy 600 watt PCI-5 right there. Be Quiet details the 12 volt rail configuration right on the unit itself. You can kind of see them printed in small text right there. So for example, these drive connectors are being powered on the first rail along with the 24 pin motherboard connection. And then over here, these are CPU power connectors. Those are on 12 volt rail number two. And then rails three and four, because it's a four rail power supply, are powering the PCI Express connectors here, including the PCI Express 5 600 watt connector. And this little three pin thing underneath the motherboard power is for Be Quiet's overclocking key. And I'll show you that in just a minute. All right, let's put this PSU aside and take a look at the cables. So this is the main power feed cable that goes from the wall outlet into the back of the unit. Pretty standard rubber cable there. This one looks like eight pin CPU power. Yeah, so you've got two four pins there, and then this one is in a bank of eight pins over here. So if you need to do an eight plus four configuration, this has got you covered. 
These ones here are gonna be for your SATA and Molex connections. So this over here is the end that plugs into the modular side of the power supply. And then you've got your connectors coming off of that. So you've got one, two, three, sorry, two SATA and two Molex on that one. And is this one the same? Uh, no, so this one has just four SATA connectors on it. Here's another one, looks like it's got some SATA connectors as well. Let's see what this one is. One, two, three SATA connectors on that guy. And another one, two, three SATA connectors there. So those two cables have another six SATA connections for you. Tons of SATA power here. So if you got lots of RGB lights and drives and stuff like that to hook up, this should have you covered. Okay, so these ones here, I can see that the 600 watt connectors attached to this, but it looks like the other VGA cable is there as well, or at least one of them. Okay, so let's look at this one first. So here's your 600 watt power connector. Wow, look at that thing. It's a nice looking cable, delivering all that power through this small little single cable instead of like three eight pin connectors or whatever my 3090 uses, which is ridiculous. This is a lot cleaner way to do it. I really like that. And then this one is, it looks like your standard connectors for PCI Express. So that would plug into the modular end of the power supply. And then down here you have two six plus two pin VGA connectors for uh, GPU. So those are two eight pin connectors that you can use on any GPU that doesn't have that new 600 watt connector. This looks like the main 24 pin with some more VGA cables bundled with it. Yeah, so there's two more uh, six plus two pin VGA cables there. So that means you have a total of four eight pin connectors coming from this PSU. So this is your main 24 pin motherboard power cable here. And by the way, I should mention, so these are all black sleeved cables as you can see here, but they're actually nicely uh, flexible. I think this will be really easy to route cables with. Really flexible actually, that's nice. Couple more things in the box here that we should take a look at. Oh, so this is the overclocking key that I was mentioning before. So if we take that thing out of there, that's what this looks like here. It's just a little like goes into an expansion slot in the back of the case and it's got a toggle switch on it. So what that really does is it allows you to switch between the four different uh, or the four separate 12 volt rails that we talked about, the way the power supply configures and distributes the power. It takes all those and it combines them into one monster rail. I've never used these things before, even though I've used a lot of Be Quiet power supplies, just because I didn't really have a usage case for it. But I think really high-end overclockers would probably be interested in something like that. And then finally, this is just a bag of, it looks like some mounting hardware, some cable ties and zip ties, just to help with uh, some cable routing, getting things cleaned up in your case, stuff like that. These ones are just Velcro. And then, yeah, standard zip ties and a bunch of hardware as well. Being a top of the line product, it kind of goes without saying that Be Quiet's packed in all their latest PSU tech in here, including things like an active rectifier, full bridge LLC, high quality Japanese capacitors, and then they back it all up with a big 10 year warranty, which is really nice. If you're gonna be making the jump to one of the latest power hungry GPUs that we have out there on the market, and you're looking for a nice PSU to go along with it, I think the Dark Power 13 series can be a really nice way to go. I'm gonna put all the detailed specs and information for you down in the description of the video, and I'll throw some purchasing links down there as well, along with some pricing information for all the different units in the series. So check that stuff out, and uh, you know, make sure you get subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon.